Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here, which is 5 raised to the power x plus 2 equals to 60 from here. This follows when we have a raised to the power m plus n, which is same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. That is here. We have 5 raised to the power x times 5 square equals to 60 from here. Then this is also can be written as 5 raised to the power x times 5 square here, that's 25, then equals to 60 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by 25, divide here by 25. Also, divide this side by 25, which implies here yeah, 25 cancel each other. And we have 5 raised to the power x left, which is equal to 60 over 25 here. And next step, yeah, here this also can be written as 5 raised to the power x equals to 60 as 5 times 12, then over. 25 as 5 times 5. That is, here yeah, we have 5 cancelled each other. And we are left with 5 raised to the power x equals to 12 over 5 from here. The next step, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log. 12 over 5. That is, x there we apply the power of logarithm, and when we have log m raised to the power p, which is equals to p log m, then here this becomes x log 5 equals to log 12 over 5 here. That is from here, we divide both side by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies log 5 cancel each other here. And we have x left, which is equal to log 12 over 5, then over log 5. And what we have here follows the log logarithm when we have log a over b the same thing as log a minus log b that is from here this becomes x equals to log 12 minus log 5 then over log 5 here then here we separate this into two fractions. That is, this becomes x equals to log 12 over log 5, then minus log 5 over log 5. That is, here log 5 cancel each other. We have one left here. And this becomes x equals to log 12 over log 5 minus 1 here then also from here we can express 12 as 4 times 3 and there this now becomes x equals to log 4 times 3 then over log 5 minus 1 from here and what we have here also follows from the law of logarithm that is log a times b is same thing as log a plus log b that is and what we have here this becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 3 
over log 5 minus 1 here. And when we separate this into two fractions, we have x equals to log 4 over log 5 then plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1 here. That is, from here, we can express 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. That is, here, this becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 5 then plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1 here. And applying the power law of logarithm, 2 comes here and we have x now equals to 2 log 2 over log 5 then plus log 3 over log 5 minus 1 here and applying change of base when we have log a over log b which can be written as log a over b then what we have now becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. Now let's check if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1. Then what we have becomes 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1 then plus 2 here is equal to 60 on this side that is here we have minus 1 plus 2 and that is plus 1 so this becomes 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 is 5 plus 1 is equals to 60 on this side and we can separate this when we apply a raised to power m plus n which is equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n. And here this becomes 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 then times 5 raised to power 1 is equals to 60 on this side. And here we can reverse this two from power law and we have 5 raised to power log 2 square base 3 then times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 then times 5 raised to power 1 that's the 5 is equal to 60 on this side that like is here we have 5 raised to power log 2 square that's 4 base 3 then times base 5 rather we have base 5 here excuse me then times also 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 times 5 is equal to 60 from here. Then what we have here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equal to b. That is what we have here becomes 4 times also 3 here times 5 is equal to 60 from here then 4 times 3 here 12 times 5 that's 60 which is equal to 60 on this side left hand side equals to the right hand side hence from here 
we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 minus 1 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now